Unfortunately, the world is on a path where we're going to have to do something dramatic with climate, with like geoengineering as a, as a, as a band-aid, as a stopgap. But I think we do now see a path to the long-term solution. So I, I want to just go back to my question. In terms of moving in the opposite direction, it sounds like the answer is potentially yes on the demand side unless we take drastic action on the supply but side. There, there is no, I, I see no way to supply this, with, to, to manage the supply side without a really big breakthrough. Right, which is, this is does this frighten you guys? Because, um, you know, the world hasn't been that versatile when it comes to supply, but AI, as you know, you have pointed out, it's not gonna take its time until we start generating enough power. It motivates us to go invest more in fusion and invest more in new storage, and, and not only the technology, but what it's gonna take to deliver this at the scale that AI needs and that the whole globe needs. So I think it would be not helpful for us to just sit there and be nervous. Um, we're just like, hey, we see what's coming. With very high conviction it's coming. How can we use our abilities, uh, our capital, our whatever else to do this? And in the process of that, hopefully deliver a solution for the rest of the world, not just AI training workloads or inference workloads.